skated around Josh Anderson. McAvoy to Pasternak. A shot and a save by Al of the last 38 shorthanded situations. Caulfield, a shot and a save by Swayman. He reads the game so well. He's square to a lot of shots. Josh Anderson, a close save by Swayman. Then the steal by Josh Anderson. He closes, tries to rip one. Pavel Zaka. 720 by Zaka. Gets the puck back from Carlo and a save by Allen. March on to McAvoy. Pasanaka. Slap pass to Marshawn and Allen. A good save. A real good save. Pasternak tees off and didn't get all of it. Make sure that sticks in one piece. Coyle out of the corner. Saucer pass to Pasternak. Back to Coyle. Pasternak to McAvoy. McAvoy scores! And that's Marshawn's 500th assist of his career. Led to the penalty where Pasternak was driving the net. And again, the shot mentality, particularly on the five on three. And they gotta love where McAvoy shoots this puck from. No reason to be out by the blue line. You shot in the ice. Forks it back to Lorai. A quick spin to get around. Monahan into the crease. Kind of two tries. Opportunities in both directions. We'll start with Boston. A little spin move up by the blue line and the attack on the net by Mason Lorai. Denton Heinen's second effort gets that. Marshawn, this way and that. Water bugging, tipped, and former took a swing. But Brandon Gallagher, a close save by Swimming. Tries to go far side. Now get over the right pad. But when the Bruins get that five-man cycle going, Jack, in the offensive. Coyle to Lauko, back to Coyle. He zooms into space and tries the short side. Jake Allen had no idea where the rebound went. Just had to hold his ground and not get beat on that short side shot by Coyle. Nice play by the Bruins. Oh, the the Final minute of the first period. Cole Caulfield to the other corner. Coyle gains the line. Frederick on the net drive. Coyle finds Carlo. The wrist shot scores! Tip in the high slot by Trent Frederick. And it's 2-0 Boston. But now you're in the final minute of the period and you give up a goal. On a little shot from the point on a redirect. You give the defenseman Carlo too much time and space. You give Frederick too much space in the slot. There's a lot of red, white, and blue back in the defensive zone, but nobody's picking anybody up. To Matheson, pivots, and the block by Lowry. Suzuki slips it to Newhook, and a great save by Swayman. Trips. Apparently on the blue line, Zaka to Lindholm. Zaka, a one-timer, slows down, and the changeup beats Jake Allen. It's 3-0. Gallagher just kind of trips over the skates of Lindholm on Lindholm's back check. I thought that was a good non-call. And then with numbers coming across the blue line, nice little game of catch between Lindholm and Zaka. Zaka. He doesn't flush this one timer, but it deflects off the stick of Jordan Harris. It changes the pace of the puck and it changes the angle. Against Caden Gooley. Good body position from Steen. Lauko, a turnaround shot. Slavkovsky. Suzuki. New hook, wheels it, Suzuki, oh, Slavkowski, 
great hands, a one-timer, and Montreal has life. Power play chances early in the first, and a couple of other big-time stops by Swayman when Montreal had puck possession in the offensive zone. Bruins had a couple opportunities to make a play in order to get an exit. And everybody seems like they're in decent shape in terms of protecting the goal scoring. Cross ice pass. Slapkowski knocks it down. One shot on the Montreal power play. And here's Trent Frederick. He scores. Fresh out of the box. It's 4 1. In between Montreal's goal and the goal margin spreading to three. You know, the goals in terms of numbers might not be there for Jake DeBrus, but he makes a big play. He's able to steal that puck along the wing boards just as the penalty expires. Shattenkirk's drive. Puck loose, and Jake Allen smothers it. Pasternak's able to fight for that loose puck as he steps inside the penalty-killing unit of the Canadians, gets a shot away. There's the one-timer by Shattenkirk. Lindholm had a one-timer. Frederick was looking for goal number three. Jake DeBrusque works Cooley's side. Patra denied by Allen. Marchand back to McAvoy. Across the rink to Pasternak. Marchand to Van Riemsdyk. It's five to one. At the very end, they got to spread everybody out, and that allows both Marshawn and Van Riemsdyk to be the only ones in and around Jake Allen. Pasenak recognizes it. I'm going to get it in that area because we've spread out the penalty killers. And Marshawn makes a play on the puck with his body and allows it to go. Suzuki wins it back. Caulfield slapped out of the slot by Heinen. Matheson takes it right to the crease and Swayman blocks entry. Such great skating ability. It's really grown into a very good defenseman, a very good player, a dominant player. He's obviously the alpha dog for this Montreal Canadiens group. Just attacks the net, just can't finish up. The pass by Kovacevic. Ulanen. Caved in by Lauko. Slavkovsky. Dvorak and a great save by Swayman and Kova Savic knocks in the rebound. It's five to two with four and a half to go. Yeah, and it's really too bad. I mean, the fourth line's been uh, pretty good here tonight. They don't like to give up goals in this situation. Montreal going to the end, and Kovacevic, the defenseman, he's up ice, he attacks the net, Dvorak makes a nice play to him underneath the stick of McAvoy, the initial stop by Jeremy Swayman. Saka and Van Riemsdyk score also, and a 5-2 to two final.